Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sangeeta Chaudhary again and I welcome everyone to my lecture class. In my today's class, I am going to talk about the recent updates in the management of tuberculosis. Basically, I am going to talk about the management protocol of tuberculosis laid down by National Tuberculosis Elimination Program that is NTEP, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India and National Health Mission. So the discussion will be basically about the changes in the treatment protocol of tuberculosis and I will discuss about the NTTB regime for DSTB. D stands for drug sensitive tuberculosis. Okay, so I will discuss about the treatment for drug sensitive tuberculosis. So first let's talk about the changes in the treatment protocol of tuberculosis. What are the changes and what I mean by change? Previously, it was known as National Tuberculosis Control Program. Then it was named as RNTCP. That is Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program. And now it is known as NTEP. That is National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. Okay, so the journey started long ago and the RNTCP was revised and the NTP started from Jan 2020. Okay, so there has been uh, different changes starting from National Tuberculosis Control Program to RNTCP and now ongoing NTEP. So I'm going to talk about the changes which are there from RNTCP to NTP. So what are the changes in the treatment protocol? First of all, the first change is daily regime. Previously, what we used to do, we used to give thrice weekly regime, okay? Three times a week, we used to give antitubercular drugs. But what we do now, we give daily regimen. That means we give antitubercular drugs on a daily basis. Next is fixed drug combination FDC stands for fixed drug combination previously what we used to do is that we used to give different molecule in different pills okay so the patient patient had to take so many pills together but now what has been done is that different molecules different anti-tubercular drug has been uh, compiled to make a single tablet and depending on the weight we give these tablets to a patient so it is less confusing for the patient as well as the healthcare provider weight ban now we give these fixed drug combination the pills we give as per the some uh, as per some weight bands i'll discuss about the weight bands in my coming slides next change what has been uh, done is that ethambutol in category one is still continued in the continuation phase we know that for NTTB regimen, there, there are two phases of treatment. One is intensive phase and the other one is continuation phase. Intensive. Okay. Intensive phase and continuation phase. So previously what we used to do is that we used to stop ethambutol after intensive phase. Only in the intensive phase we used to use ethambutol. But now, now we use ethambutol even in the continuation phase also. Okay. Then the other change is like there is no extension of intensive phase. Previously what we used to do is that at the end of intensive phase which is for two months. So at the end of two months we used to do a sputum test and if the sputum remained positive then then the intensive phase used to be extended for one more month but now there is no extension of intensive phase even if the sputum smear remains positive at the end of intensive phase treatment lastly there is no category two there has been uh, different categories as per which we used to treat a patient. There were categories like 1, 2, 3, 4. Then there was category like only 1, 2 and 4, then 1 and 2. It was confusing but now there is no category as such. Okay, so we treat patients for one is drug sensitive tuberculosis, 
that is DSTB and the other one is drug resistant tuberculosis okay so there is no category as such we treat drug sensitive tuberculosis with certain group of drugs and we treat drug resistant tuberculosis with certain group of drugs so in my today's lecture i will discuss about the regimens for drug sensitive tuberculosis and in my other class i am going to discuss about the drug resistant tuberculosis regimen as well so these are the changes i wanted to talk about now coming to the regimen what regimen we use for drug sensitive tuberculosis now type of tb case new and previously treated drug sensitive tuberculosis so for any drug sensitive tuberculosis patient we will use two months of continued intensive phase with isoniazide rifampicin pyrazinamide and ethambutol and then we will give treatment in continuation phase which we will continue for four months next four months and we will give isoniazide rifampicin and ethambutol this ethambutol is an ad addition previously in the continuation phase ethambutol was not used but now in the new protocol we use ethambutol in the continuation phase as well so h stands for isoniazide okay then R stands for rifampicin. Okay. Then Z stands for pyrazinamide. We all know these things. Okay. And E stands for ethambutol. Okay. So this is the simplest way I could explain the regimen. Okay. Regimen for drug sensitive tuberculosis two months intensive phase with hrze and four months continuation phase with hre now i was talking about some weight bands so depending on the weight bands we decide how many tablets a person should take so one tablet of hrze which we use in the intensive phase it contains Isoniazide 75 mg, rifampicin 150 mg, pyrazinamide 400 and ethambutol 275 mg. That is about the one fixed drug combination. One tablet will contain this much of dose for different, four different molecules. Now, if a patient falls in between 25 to 34 kg we are going to give two tablets of this combination for the intensive phase okay and we will give in the continuation phase two tablet of this combination that means in the continuation phase we will not use pyrazinamide we will use the combination of isoniazide rifampicin and ethambutol if someone for example someone's weight is 55 kg so 55 kg patient will fall in this weight band that is in between 50 to 64 kg so for that particular person we will give four tablets of fixed drug combination in the intensive phase and four tablets of the particular fixed drug combination in the continuation phase so this is how the weight band helps us so it is very easy to categorize the patient and easy to uh, you know uh, prescribe the antitubercular drugs now, if we talk about the dosage of NTTB drugs, we all know that isoniazide dosing is 5 mg per kg. I am talking about the adult dosing. There is children dosing as well, different dosing for child. For isoniazide, 5 mg per kg daily. Rifampicin, 10 mg per kg daily. Pyrazinamide, 25 mg per kg daily. Ethambutol 15 mg per kg daily, streptomycin 15 mg per kg daily. Okay, so these are the drug dosages for anti TB drugs. Now, lastly, how do we follow up a patient whom we have treated with the anti tubercular drugs? So, follow up can be clinical follow up or else laboratory follow up. So, in clinical follow up, what we do, 
we call the patient monthly and we will monitor the symptoms of the patients if the patient symptoms suppose the patient previously had a cough then fever weight loss whether the symptoms has improved or not and if there is any appearance of new symptoms then we will talk about the adverse drug reaction we'll take history about the adverse drug reaction okay we will see the patient's weight whether the weight is increasing or not if the patient is responding with the treatment patient should be uh, gaining weight we will see if there is any comorbidity or not if there is any comorbid conditions like any of the immunosuppressed state may be hiv aids or maybe diabetes then we need to take care of the particular comorbid condition as well chest x-ray we will do it will depend on the situation and availability of the chest x-ray now talking about laboratory follow-up okay laboratory follow-up we will do a smear microscopy in my next slide, I will tell when we do smear microscopy, when we do smear, uh, sputum culture. Okay, then we need to look for DST. DST stands for drug sensitivity test. If the patient is not responding to the treatment, what we have given to the patient, or suppose the patient remains sputum smear positive, even after the end of the treatment, then we need to go ahead with the drug sensitivity test. And depending on the sensitivity, we need to use the sensitive drugs. Then we need to investigate for adverse drug reaction and investigation for comorbid condition if there is any. So this is about following up a patient of tuberculosis whom we have or we are treating with antitubercular drugs. Laboratory follow-up, I was talking about sputum smear examination. When we do sputum smear examination, we follow up the patient at the end of intensive phase, continuation phase. Then for long-term follow-up, we can follow the patient at 6 months after the end of treatment, 12 months, 18 months and 24 months to find out if there is any recurrence of tuberculosis or not. So at the end of intensive phase, we will do one sputum specimen, sputum smear examination, okay? And we will also do at the end of the treatment, that is at the end of the continuation phase as well. So if at the end of intensive phase, if smear remains positive, then we need to go ahead with drug sensitivity testing, as I said. And depending on the drug sensitivity, we need to use drug. And if the patient remains negative, then well and good, we will continue with the continuation phase. Again, as I said, at the end of the treatment, okay, means at the end of continuation phase, again, we will go for a sputum smear microscopy and or culture also we will do for every patient. If it is negative, if sputum examination is negative, then the patient is declared as cured of tuberculosis, okay, cured. But if the sputum is positive, smear positive or culture positive, then we need to go ahead with drug sensitivity testing and depending on the sensitivity, we need to use sensitive drugs. So this is all about which I wanted to discuss in this class. I wanted to discuss about the uh, new changes, okay, which has been made from RNTCP to NTEP. So I have talked about the changes in uh, tubercular uh, treatment regimen and also I talked about the regimen drug regimen for treating drug sensitive tuberculosis and once we start treatment how do we follow up this group of patients so thank you so much for your patience hearing I hope the class was helpful thank you